Hello, treasures. It has been a long time. Did you miss me? <laughs> oh, guys, it has been, yeah, interesting. We'll just leave it at that. But I have missed you guys, and goodness, I have so many videos rattling around in my head that I've wanted to make, but it's just not been possible. But let's move on from that. This is the latest journal that I've been working on. And this journal came about um, from a group collaboration that I have participated in on the um, Junk Journal Trading Post with Rach and Bella Crafts Facebook group. The collaboration is called with a little help from my friends. And the way it was set up, everyone, you know, expressed their interest, and then we were put into groups of five, or some groups had to be larger, um, but grouped depending upon our location, um, country-wise, basically. And each group member was assigned to make two items to go into a journal. And those um, those items were dictated to us. So, you know, we weren't, didn't end up, you know, with five people making a, um, you know, a journaling card or, or whatnot. Um, and then we would, we would make five of those and send four to the other ladies and, of course, keep one for ourselves or our own journal. And once we had made our pieces, the next step, of course, was to create a journal to put those pieces into. So this is my journal. Um, it's a bit monstrous, but we'll get to that. I have to say, guys, that I was so incredibly lucky and blessed with the team that I was um, that I was blessed with. So we had Rose and Debbie and Phyllis and Brenda, and of course, you know, little old me. But I tell you, these ladies are absolutely incredible. They are so funny and so amazingly creative and so loving and supportive. Guys, I, I just can't gush enough over how wonderful these ladies are. And, you know, I'm so lucky to have met them. And, you know, we're going to remain friends. Absolutely. But I'll stop gushing for a moment and show you the journal. Um, oh, one other thing before I show you the journal. We did choose a, a sort of theme so that, uh, you know, our all of our bits and pieces that we made kind of coordinated. So, you know, somebody wasn't doing a, a boho, you know, pocket while you know another person was making a shabby chic journaling card or whatever we wanted everything to coordinate and go together nicely so um what we did we based our journals around rach's um snowdrop and blossom spring kit um, not everybody necessarily used the kit but we based it on the color scheme and, you know, just that theme so that it would all go together nicely. All right, let's look at this monster of a journal. So we have our cover here and my little, um, oh, what, what did we call them, girls? It's Suffolk Puffs or Yo-Yos. <laughs> um, little Cameo almost lost what it was called there. Now, this dangle is right now, it's just connected with a bulldog clip. It's kind of uh, being auditioned for now to see if 
I want to keep it there permanently. And if I do, then of course I'll, I will permanently adhere it. But I wanted you to see this fabric. I saw this fabric online and I just absolutely fell in love with it. And um, it was after we had started working on the bits and pieces for the journals and I thought that it's just absolutely gorgeous and would go so well with Rachel's snow Snowdrop and Blossom Spring Kit. So when I saw it, I knew that was going to be my cover. And then, of course, me being me, Lace Mad Holly, I had to add lots of lace and little cutesy bits to it. All right, so we have a, oh, and it is a hidden spine journal. Even if you didn't have this lace here, you're not going to see the spine. And the closure is this pretty blue ribbon. So look at that. Look at that. Now, I have to say, the guidelines for the journal was that it was to be, I, th I think it was, I, I'm going to um, interpret the guidelines as a minimum of one signature because me, being me, I just had to go and hollyfy things, as uh, Phyllis would say, <laughs> and I have actually two signatures. But we're just going to look at the first one. Um, in this video since um, the guideline was for one signature. But look at this. I've not added anything into this second signature yet. And look at her. She's already. Oh, my days. Oh. Okay. Let's have a look. Inside, we've got a pocket here. And we find our first bits that my gorgeous ladies made. Here's a little notebook that Phyllis made. And let me the lighting is horrible. Let me try turning this light off. That's a little bit, bit better, I think. Um, but here is the lovely little notebook that Phyllis made for us. And even has little bits tucked in the back. I love that she's you know made a little pocket in the back of the tiny notebook and decorated it beautifully. And then we have the origami quill that Rose made. Oh my goodness, Rose with this origami stuff, and I'll show you. Um, another piece as we go on that Rose made and I watched the video for the other piece and Rose I just tell you I, whew, I don't think there's any hope of me working it out <laughs> and then um, it's just uh, an envelope with some bits inside journaling cards Oh my goodness, what am I like? Can't even get a journaling card back in an envelope. And I'll apologize now, guys. I probably will be a bit more fiddly and um, whatnot than usual because I, I am a bit, um, yeah, not feeling great today. So give me a little bit extra leeway. All right, so as usual, I really like to start my journals with um, vellum, uh, specifically printed vellum. So I love that print. And I made a, um, a ruffle with some sari silk. I love this sari silk. It's so nice. And I'm really proud of my ruffles because I only just recently started making them. So I do love them. They're, you're probably going to get sick of seeing them. <laughs> you 
you know how it is. You start doing something new and get so excited about it. And I love this. I had to include this. Dreams can come true. Let's hope. Let's hope. And, of course, I've got a little bit of um, dangly jewelry on the side. I do love my journal jewelry. And then we just have a little pocket with some bits in. And, um, guys, I, I will apologize now that I can't possibly tell you all the different um, kits that I have pulled from because, you know, I am one that uses all sorts of kits. But um, I know for sure that I used Rach's Snowdrop and Blossom Spring Kit, so <laughs> I'll link that one down below. But the rest of them, no idea, guys. Sorry. Sorry. So I have a collection of just gorgeous um, illustrated flora books and I, you know, I have to use them every chance I get in my journals. So we have the journaling card and our first gorgeous vellum envelope from Debbie. And it is printed from the kit. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but and then we have some little tags and and bits inside there. But I love vellum. You guys know that already, don't you? But Debbie did a fantastic job with these. And there's a couple more um, tucked in further on. Bit of stenciling. Ah, didn't have to go far, did we? And a couple more of Debbie's beautiful little vellum envelopes. A picture of some sweet little girls. And another journaling card. I know this, this is for sure from um, Rach's kit. Ooh. I'm not going to try to name any of the other kits because... I'll get it wrong. <laughs> Somebody will get upset. So, yeah. Another dangle. A little, all sorts of little bits to it. And this one is actually an Edith, Edith Holden page. We all recognize that, don't we? A journaling card. I think they, there's a lot of these in there. And I think that these were Tim Holtz journaling cards, if I'm not mistaken. But um, they're really great journal fillers when you need them. <laughs> and here is, oh my goodness. Oh, I've lost, what is it called, guys? Oh, specimen card. Dear me. Um, <laughs> a specimen card with dried flowers and these flowers are ones that I actually have dried myself so it's a bit special to me we'll get back in frame and then I just have a little dangle hanging on there more writing space and then we have our little envelope pocket isn't it precious um, and this one is from Brenda and I've just tucked a little library card and a little bitty tag in there all right now this page there's something special about it let me move it over a bit so you can see okay you like the trim ah it's not actually trim on the page it's trim on a giant journaling card a hidden pocket so you know, I arrange it so that it just looks like 
that is just trim on that page so you can have some secret super secret journaling space <laughs> and this is a page from my first go at um dying papers with beetroot and i absolutely love it i oh my goodness guys i've dyed lace i've dyed sorry silk i've dyed cotton i've dyed all sorts of things <laughs> with this beetroot since i started I just can't stop but it is a lovely lovely color um and now it's got me um interested in trying all sorts of other things so there's no telling what you might see next another botanical book now this book let me take these i'll tell you in a minute a little journaling card a journaling card from rachel's kit another specimen card this time with a paper butterfly but i've made sure to do it from both sides um, just a little card now, what I wanted to show you is this. So you've got your pocket here and the pocket here. This is actually one page, but because this book is so wide, I can actually fold it once and then fold it back again. So you have this double pocket and it's the same on the other half of um the book page that goes along with that so i absolutely love that book um oh i can't think of what it's called at the moment i know somebody's going to want to know and i can't think of it i will if i can find it then i will um put the information down below but i love the book and here's yet another botanical book. And here we have a belly band with a shaker flower made by the lovely Brenda. Um, yeah, Brenda, I decided I wanted to use your lovely shaker flower on a belly band. And I thought that just looked really nice together. And then there's just a little uh, simple notebook in there some more stenciling um, and now we've come to the first thing that I actually made for the project the collaboration so this is a little flip pocket thingy I can't remember I don't know what its proper name is, but we'll just call it a flip, a flip pocket thingy. <laughs> so we've got our little cards and it opens up from the button. Isn't that cute? And we've got some more cards and then, you know, it opens up to some more. Now I chose to glue mine down on three sides. So I have yet another pocket in the back okay you can leave this as a floating pocket and where this is folded up um, to make the tuck the pocket um, it's also like that in the back so if you leave it as a, um, a floating pocket then you'll have another little tuck spot on the back of this as well but now the really special thing about this pocket is that it has secret journaling spaces. Yay! And the tags just hold that down. How cute is that? And my book is leaning to one side, so it's, sorry guys, it's kind of hard to show you these things. Oh, and here um, is the first of my two dangles. 
um, there's another a swap on the group for um, dangles on a paper clip. So I tried it out with these, and uh, I'm not sure that I'm convinced with this because these are too heavy. I probably should have used acrylic rather than heavy glass beads and whatnot, but it's pretty, but it's a bit heavy for the page, I think. So um, I don't know. We'll see if it, if it stays or if it has to go. And another little pocket um, with some ephemera. Now here is Rose's absolutely phantasmagorical um, origami bow. And Rose, I hope you don't mind, but I turned it into a, um, a oh gosh, what's it called? A hidden paper clip. Um, it's not completely hidden, as you can see here, but I thought that it would look so cute just to tuck it on the the top of the page. And I, since this was um, showing, I decided to add some little tails to it and whoop, just put, just attach a couple of little dangles that hang out of the journal with it. And then on the other side of that is the first part of Debbie's snippet. Um, not a snippet roll, but the, the first part of Debbie's snippet. I used a bit of that to be the other side of the hidden paper clip. So I don't know, probably all of you guys know how these work and everything, but yeah. Well, I'm not going to fiddle with it because I'm all clumsy right now. And there's the other dangle paper clip that's too heavy. <laughs> but this is holding a sweet little girl and her kitty. Isn't that lovely? And I love this page. It reminds me of like a French Victorian bourgeois sort of thing with the lace and the roses. <laughs> I don't know why, but yeah, anyway. This is uh, my center of this signature is a gorgeous, gorgeous um, spread from Rachel's kit. I love these little birds. Um. And here is almost the rest of Debbie's snippet. Um, I've got one more little piece that I'm going to use later on in the journal. But isn't that gorgeous? And who would have thought of using the wax uh, seals on a snippet? Absolutely adorable. Love it. And this is just a... Um, a little like a wallpaper sample notebook thing that I had made gosh a couple years ago probably by one of my friends and it's very sweet I thought it would look nice with this another pretty dangle that you can't see <laughs> Ooh. yeah another pretty little dangle there I love the um, violets on this one. That's so pretty. I love violets and roses. Okay, another pocket with some bits tucked in. Now this one. Oh, all right, guys. I'm sure the girls were tired of hearing me the other day when I figured out how to do this but I wanted to make this look and hopefully it looks like a bureau or chest of drawers I'm never quite sure what to call it between the American and English so but it's one of those things that has drawers that you put your clothes in <laughs> but hopefully these look like the drawers with 
bits sticking out and I've even got a little journaling card tucked behind um, but yeah I really enjoyed making this little dresser bureau whatever you call it and here's a pocket I used that um, the same fabric that I, I used on the cover to make this pocket here and oh I was wrong here's another piece of Debbie snippet and I still do have one more piece to use later on so we've just got some little bits there um, another botanical page and I've just got a little envelope that I made um, clipped on there look at this teeny tiny paper clip can you believe that and it is of course a Tim Holtz thing and I actually discovered it um, by accident <laughs> I thought that I was getting a bigger paper clip and boy was I surprised when these tiny things came but they're cute and they work nicely in a journal so I won't moan I'll just check the the uh, measurements won't I next time here is a beautiful beautiful um, envelope um, book page envelope made by Phyllis and I love that when I tuck it in I always make sure that that's showing thrive yep we need to do that don't just live thrive but it has a little um, round steel and then got little bits tucked inside so I thought and that even you know what Phyllis this oh, Oh, I've been so crazy. I've only just realized that there's a little journaling spot there. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. So, super well done, Phyllis. <laughs> and then I've just got um, another little notebook tucked in here that I thought matched well with the whole theme. The other side of the beetroot paper now let me see guys this wasn't actually my favorite of the beetroot pages was it let me see where is the other one yeah this can you see my husband bless him he said well, it doesn't look too bad. You know, the wrinkles, you know, don't make it look too bad. And I was like, no, the wrinkles are fantastic. <laughs> the wrinkles look great on it. <laughs> but I, I loved that. But, it, you know, it just goes to show you how differently junk journalers see things. <laughs> Most people would think, oh, no, it's wrinkled. But, you know, we're like, oh, no, that's great. Look, look at that texture. It's gorgeous. <laughs> Oh. Um, remember that hidden journaling card? Oh, look at this trim here. Ta-da. Let me move it down. Another hidden journaling card. And this one has the beetroot paper on the back. So, oh, I can't get it back in there. It is a tight fit. I'll put it in. I'll put it back in later so I don't rip it now. Uh, another journaling uh, um, writing spot I've just done. I don't even know if you can see it on camera. The um, stenciling. Edith Holden again with just a little um, vellum pocket with some bits and bobs tucked in there journaling space yep. I love you know what I, I really love uh, collage pages I don't know I, and you know I, I really ought to make a master board it's something I've never done and as much as I love these pages I really ought to be doing some of my own more 
four floral illustrations pocket. Now, oh my goodness gracious, look at this. I'm going to take, um, I'll come back to this, but look at this. And this is something that, that I've added, but this is a fabric flip that Rose made for all of us. So, flip and flip. Isn't that precious? And you may have seen where, you know, the lace is hanging out the bottom. I do love that. Um, you know, most of my journals do have lace hanging out here, there, and everywhere. But when I first clipped Rose's fabric flip into the book, this lace was hanging out the bottom, and I thought, oh, yes. Oh, yes, that's the way to go. I love it. And it is, this goes over the page. So the lace, you know, decorates over here as well. And I love this little blue trim, this little hangy, dangly trim. And I just added the, the decorated pin. I love these. And um, it's nice to, to find a way to, to use them in journals. And this is a multi, gosh, what was it called? Multi-use pocket or, or um, tag with a journaling space. I can't remember what it was called. But this was um, one of the bits that I made for all of us. So we've got our um, tags, of course, all with journaling space on the back in their pocket. Look at those gorgeous eggs. Isn't that perfect to go with this? And then you open it up and you have a lovely bird, Edith Holden. Um, but you also have this little scrappy notebook. You can, you know, write a little note on it and tear it out if you need to. Or, you know, just you know, have little journaling spots in your little tag notebook there. So, so that was my second contribution to the group. And this here is the end of that signature. Our vellum. And this is... The second signature that technically for this uh, challenge doesn't exist. <laughs> so we won't go into that. So guys, I hope that you've enjoyed seeing this journal. It really has been such a fantastic journey with these ladies. And I'm so blessed uh, to have gotten to know them and, you know, for them to come into my life. I already knew... Um, Phyllis and Brenda a bit but you know this it, it's been one of those fantastic friendships that can come about in the junk journaling community one of those things that I love so much so I hope you enjoyed having a look at the journal and I hope that this video isn't ridiculously long if it is um sorry but you know I talk way too much <laughs> and I've missed you guys so hopefully I'm not going to make any promises um but hopefully I'll be able to you know get a few more videos up here and there but um life is a bit difficult and crazy at home right now with um, my husband's cancer um, I think I've mentioned before that he has terminal cancer. And um, just before Christmas, we were given the news that he has just, you know, maybe 12 months to live. Um, and he might, he might be able to gain a couple of months doing chemotherapy, which um, he actually started doing a couple of weeks ago. So we've had the... The first round of chemo and um, the so-called fallout from that, thankfully, has not been too bad so far. But from from what I've you know been told, you know it builds up. So um, 
if I'm not, you know, putting up videos and and communicating very well, you know, I'm sure you'll understand why. But I'm going to leave it on a positive note, though. Guys, enjoy every day. There's always something in every day, no matter how horrible it is, no matter how cold and wet and rainy it is, and the kids are crying and the dogs are barking, <laughs> no matter how awful the day seems, there's always something to be thankful for. So just remember that, and, you know, hopefully you'll have a little smile. So I'll talk to you again soon. Bye. Love you.